okay so today uh, we will do streaming on ssrf i guess some people in our group uh, said this i guess phenomenal said uh, that we should do uh, on ssrf right so this was the thing if tomorrow we have a session please explain ssrf so and we were about to uh, do uh, uh, streaming on ssrf yesterday i was not feeling well so i am doing it today <laughs> sorry for the inconvenience okay so uh, let me share the screen uh, full screen okay let me know if you are uh, able to see the screen okay visible it's visible okay. yes okay. so uh, let me open a notepad first oh. no 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 mouse pad i will use mouse pad notes dot txt okay are you able to see the fonts are you able to see the font size or should i increase it just let me know yeah it's okay increase a bit increase a bit now it's visible is it good enough <coughs> yeah okay so first we will see what's the basic ssrf is that uh, we will talk about methodology i guess then we will talk about some bypasses automation if time limits us means if time if we get a good amount of time <laughs> and uh, uh, then we will see q and a i guess q and a or anything what i am missing okay <coughs> so what is ssrf uh man i would like to give chance to the people who are with me in learn together so any one of you would like to answer what is ssrf <clears throat> anyone because i remember anonymous is the one mac is the one uh mahakal i guess that is also in the group Riyotsu is also group phenomenal lots of people like any files or something like that fetches for fetches from the server yeah okay anyone else want to try yeah so uh, let me answer it now uh, so have you heard about csrf Have you heard about CSRF? Yep, yep. So, just the name will tell you what uh, CSRF is. Now, if you know CSRF, uh, CSRF in CSRF, uh, you are able to make other user or uh, uh, yeah, means other user. to forge a request on behalf of you okay means uh, uh, you are able to make user send a request so that will be a client side you are able to make a uh, client make a request okay to perform particular task or something in uh, ssrf you are doing this on server side so you are making a server to make a request to the other server or any other infrastructure or system uh, which it which it is connected to or uh, which it can connect okay so you are basically you are uh, making a server send a request to another server simple as that okay now this second server would be some back end uh, back end server or back end system or back end database or something like that internal infrastructure in short so you are making public facing server to make a request to the internal server that's a simple definition you can say got it server side request uh, forgery uh, we do that now uh, 
I think so. Uh, if any question or did I made it confusing? Little bit, little bit. <laughs> confusing. Yeah. Simply, you can uh, you yeah. can understand it like you are making public facing server, okay, which you are able to access, get something or some resource from the internal server. Got it? Yeah. Or internal, or you are able to fetch internal stuffs public to internal got it Every, uh, is it clear yes okay so uh, now i think so you got uh, so what can you fetch uh, right now what <laughs> limited knowledge i have uh, we can fetch uh, files we can get fetch files we can uh, uh, what we say we can fetch uh, internal api calls yes you can interact interact with uh, interact with internal internal systems you can say or applications yeah you get port scan you can do port scanning you can uh, then uh, aws metadata get yes you can get cloud uh, get cloud metadata details okay so this is all the things uh, which i know but and mostly you can even get accesses you can uh, even do uh what else can we do any idea what else can you do also okay, privilege discretion also by knowing that mean port yeah you that i think so will uh, okay yeah let me add you can you can uh do pre privilege escalation okay by knowing the admin endpoint right but this will happen only when there is uh, the backend system doesn't verify via some authentication mechanism so just a backend system is uh, verifying that it could be the admin because it is coming from internal endpoint or internal ip or some kind of that so there is no proper uh, authentication mechanism for admin or for uh, in the backend system for the admin functionality then this could happen okay so these are some of the things so first when you do uh, let's talk about directly jump to the methodology now methodology so first thing that you should be doing is uh, try to try to crawl okay try to crawl or uh, you can say understand functionality functionality or uh, uh, simple term spider the <coughs> spider the web application okay now this you can do let me just show you the demo uh, for example if i go to huh, Let's try on bugbountyhunter.com I haven't started marker since long <laughs> Today I started it actually So the key point here you need to remember is You need to find any parameter or any uh, uh, any endpoint which is trying to interact with the backend system or some kind of path okay for example if we above heaven started above okay it's connect to charger So uh, basically, 
you need uh, you will have to find like for example just go through every functionality everything let my burp start and keep burp online in the background okay it's starting again okay yeah so what you can do um i want to test this application okay first thing as we always do go to target scope advanced scope add then i will just enter regex here like this I'll just use this string I just want because it's specific to this application I will just do yes if I am testing a black box testing or I want to also uh, get outside the request of the scope I will do no there now I will just open the browser here in the set mode of in the option I will just enable this setting here now uh, let the browser open <laughs> sorry for the uh, speed here so if I open here Barker okay so first step for you would be to just uh, set your scope okay and then uh, Keep it on uh, background, turn off your intercept mode and keep it on in the background. And just browse the application like a normal user. Okay, so this is a key thing. Uh, you can also uh, do while hunting for any other vulnerability or something like that. It depends totally on you. Okay, so login, then if you go to register. Um, we don't have account so we will first register so I will be using best at the rate test.com maybe and for the password let's say test confirm password test pin code one two three four five six username test appearance so I can see here one is file upload right so it's a profile picture so I think so I will be able to access this from my user's account as well setting so I will not do anything here right now but we will test this functionality as well okay so here I will type test so this is your first uh, you can say first uh, uh, first indication or you can say first hinge that uh, there might be SSR because uh, lots of blocks that we have uh, read in the learn together uh, most of them were from the file upload means most are as most of the SSRF were from the file upload functionality right so we will test that we are not able to interact here so remember me register so just uh, go in the back end see if anything you can see in the parameter maybe uh, this here as you can see here there is a tick here so there is a parameter here uh, yeah only the return url is the parameter you can uh, i think so return url so this might be vulnerable to open redirection maybe as uh, from the parameter you can say so some kind of detail password should be okay let's use test test again. test test eight digit okay one two three four five six seven eight. now it should be enough i guess okay done So as you can see, uh, we are logged in now. So one functionality which I saw means uh, as an unauthenticated user, we were able to see this docs, creative tips, community. These three are the new tabs, right? But we will interact with afterwards. So I can see here another thing which might be vulnerable to uh, SSRF, which is attach image. So you can make a note right now. We will not be testing uh, right now. Make a note which endpoint or functionality would be vulnerable to SSRF okay so the second step would be this <coughs> so one is uh, for our self one is I'll be making one on Okay. 
okay one is on which endpoint this is a normal uh, i guess blah 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 let's attach an image here just for testing purpose back to the world and let's see there is a post request and uh, in the post request i can see the file has entered and the post is the endpoint our endpoint here okay this this was the request this was the endpoint if i send this to repeater for better examination repeater so this was our endpoint so first note it down like this was our endpoint on post then of uh, end parameter param was file i think so file was one right it was a param post image post image is the param so there could be multiple uh, files you can upload so just note it down okay then the other one is on i think so that's it you can test it this afterwards right now i am just aiming for ssrf so i will also be testing here this delete button and then can i post through here can i able to post because i can also see here uh, image was bigger <laughs> so there is no kind of uh, any other parameter which can indicate uh, for the id so if i open this Why the internet is slow? Am I on the intercept mode? No, it's off. Hmm. I don't... Okay. So as you can see here, there is post uh, slash one here, right? One. So I might be testing here. Can I uh, edit or update or some other like posting here one and then reuse this? So that's the other thing that comes in the editor and stuff. <laughs> so right now we are just naming for ssrf so uh, we need to find uh, what should be finding that is try to find file upload functionalities file upload functionalities parameters parameters uh, parameters which is trying to fetch internal files or sometimes you will see like a path equal to uh, equal to slash app slash uh, index dot js or something like this so you should also be watching after this type of parameters like they are trying to fetch something from the uh, internal storage okay so you need to also internal file or storage storage system system okay so you need to uh, look after all these you should be having an eagle eye for these all uh, these all vectors okay so storage system then other thing is um, what can what else could be <clears throat> uh open redirection might also uh, uh if you find any open in direction uh, open redirection you should definitely try for access uh, ssrf there as well <clears throat> chaining uh, open reaction to ssrf and open redirection you already know it's a very simple vulnerability <clears throat> then uh Mm, what else where can you test ah huh, yeah you can also test in the ref referer header okay referer header referer header why because uh, uh, many application now they uh, they monitor like from where they are getting all the traffics right so uh, many times when you click a link and you get redirected to another website your referral header is been uh, transported to the other side right so they will just uh, check from where we are getting the traffic like you if you go to github so if i open here github okay it's i'm 
Marble Pops are okay. So if I go to GitHub now, uh, and uh, open, let's open how to hunt. And uh, if I go to this insights tab and traffic, you will be able to see that from where I am getting all the referral site traffic, right? GitHub, then this GitHub, uh, gitbook.io, then something t.co, that means this is, I think, so uh, Twitter, I guess. Twitter is uh, Telegram. Telegram is t.me, I guess. And then someone is, uh, some from mail, someone is sharing the link from the mail. Some are, some are getting from Instagram as well. So what applications, some application will do, they will try to visit this uh, website like this hackertop, hackerstop.org, it is this website. So an extensive free resource for, okay, ah, we found something new. <laughs> great, great. So, uh, so they will try to, so GitHub will try to visit this hackerstop.org. Okay, now what will happen if you will, uh, instead of inside your referral header you will type 10.0.1 okay so you might be able to uh, fetch some internal ip okay on your dns maybe you use your burp collaborator link or interact.sh interact.sh link so you will be able to get internal ip and uh, after that you might be able to do even port scanning here even you can do port scanning in this case and uh, you can even use that internal IP to bypass the WAF. Okay, so there are many things you can do after getting internal IP. Even in investigation, uh, even if you uh, know something about forensic, the first thing that police will do is try to get, if there is some kind of cyber crime, na, they will try to get the internal IP for, uh, sorry, internal IP. They will try to get the IP address uh, which, has, which are associated with the crime. Okay, so, IP address is very important so referral header you can also use this or any any header you find which contains link in it not the origin okay <laughs> don't put your link in the origin so you can try that as well so uh, these are the places which I will I will myself will try uh, to uh, perform SSRF attacks so here as we can see here if I go to my profile as we saw in the uh, while registering I was able to see that there is an image here image upload functionality so I am able to update the image if I was not able to update my image only during the registration then I will go back and I will try to find SSRF while registering okay so as I can see here, I will upload an image here. Just go through uh, proxy image. So this is another endpoint which I will be uh, I will be testing. Okay, so I'll just note it down here on something like this. So making notes is very important even during your pen testing engagement because you are you have to go through many and many uh, functionality and application and all those stuffs so taking notes will help you to get back to what you want in the background and it will also help you to remember then uh, there was this setting tab I guess there is nothing here just the password I don't think so there will be SSRF in the password uh, my dog so there is an add a dog functionality okay so as you can see here provide a url to an image right so this also indicate uh, that there might be an ssrf here because we are able to provide a url which we control right so if just add here like this even we can test this upload functionality so this endpoint is very good if i want to start testing SSRF because we have two functionality here which might be vulnerable let me just start an interact interact uh, interact dot sh i guess i'm spelling it wrong interact pd project discovery yeah 
So uh, normally first I will try uh, for the local host but uh, let's see because many time what will happen it will not the web application server will not uh, allow you to fetch something or uh, it will not send a request to the outside means to outside environment but it will be able to uh, get from internal network means uh in simple terms application will not allow outside interaction but it will allow internal interaction okay so that also uh, you need to keep mind so if i do fetch image so there was an up error uploading the image so if i go back to here I can see there is this image and in the response I got unprocessable entry so that the error is if I send this to repeater for better examination if I send like this so I can see that the image URL format is invalid okay <clears throat> so the I think so the HTTPS is blocked so the next step I would try is fetching internal am I able to fetch internal i will remove the s here that image so there was uh -huh. yeah. you need to put some image extension to bypass the client side filter yeah yeah I'm, <coughs> i was gonna come into that part right now i was uh, just going through all this means uh, explaining that this could happen i actually exploited this vulnerability i could directly show how to exploit it but uh, that would uh, not give you an idea right so I was going through all the process so if I go to uh, back to the error the image URL format is invalid so I think there we as uh, who was that uh, who was that we also or someone from you this tag like starting with tag I don't know okay uh, tag 69 I guess uh yeah so whoever gave the answer yeah you are correct so the error states that yeah tag 69 right yeah so we said that yeah bro, uh, there is some kind of distortion in the sound so as he said that the error states that the image url format is invalid data was invalid so x.jpg let's try x.jpg get image there was a, again the error what if we try interact.sh process again here <coughs> url fetch image so there was an error again right so that means the uh, web application is uh, trying to fetch a valid image okay so what at this point what you can try you can try hosting your own uh, what we say uh, own server with python like this uh, python let me open the new tab ah come now <laughs> my system is hanged it's not working okay new tab okay it's not working so what you can do uh, you can uh, create your own server you can use ngrog or apache and host an image file and try to upload here and check if you can get an uh, internal ip from it okay my kali is not working it's a terminal is so at this point now you uh, have gathered the endpoints right now you have the started testing the first thing you need to get is what type of uh, the first thing you would try is get internal IP. Okay, internal IP because this would this uh, would confirm that uh, the web application is using any third party third party uh, cloud service or uh, third party or on its server or it's uh, storing uh, 
storing or you can say <coughs> interacting with uh, its own system you just say uh, storing storing on to my spelling mistake sorry <laughs> storing on its own server okay so this will help if it is using any third party cloud service then you will be able to uh, fetch the metadata right that i will come to uh, that part so let's just examine what it is trying but for that we need to get an interaction right first so uh, let's try this functionality then so i will be trying the file upload here wait a second so if i open this image in new tab i'm getting some image what i will do here is i will try to get 127.0.0.1 okay and then i will put this here just to test because i was a uh, as you can see here the storage and endpoint it is i think so storing on the internal host but it doesn't confirm it okay so we will try to confirm it like this so i am using the local host uh, here address then i will try to fetch the image so there was an error i guess so again there is some kind of error Let's examine the error again. The image URL format is invalid. So at this point, I will start scratching my head what I can do. Now this is a time when you start trying bypass. See means there might be an issue like uh, uh, there might be a problem or there might be something uh, blacklist or whitelist by, uh, filtering going on here. So the first thing I'll try some bypasses. I will go to payload, payload all things. I will type SSRF. If I go here, so I will start uh, trying this all. Uh, this all bypasses. So first, we will try this because we I think so one. Uh, 127.0.0.1 is blocked. So I will try this one. Fetch image. No. I will try this. Localhost. Is it allowed? And backside, I will do just to JPG, I guess. Dot JPG. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, how about this address then? get image so it's taking some time that's different uh, still we are not able to patch how about this then get image you need to try an error right uh, how about this local cache dot me so as you can see here i got some broken image if you can see like here right and the payload i use was local test.me now if i go to this na, local test.me this is just a dns rebinding trick you can say so uh, let me go here and show you local test.me so what local test.me <coughs> will, do, will do it will redirect me to the local host okay so let me open google <laughs> I'm getting connection refused because I haven't started the server here. So let me show you in the Kali. If I type Python 3, then uh, hyphen m http server 80. Okay, to start the server, it's not started. Okay, permission denied. I was thinking about it. Sudo. Latest version of Kali doesn't require this. <laughs> this is the older version. So it started. Now if I open a browser here. Ah, my Kali is stuck. <laughs> ah, okay. Firefox.
sorry for the interruption guys do you have any question up till now did the firefox open <laughs> let me know the question if you have anything we want to try everything everything yeah. is like payload all we want to try everything yeah yeah until it yeah so uh, try everything there are various methods to uh, bypass ssrf that we discussed in i think so our uh, learn together channel we are talking about lot of things i'm really happy that many of you are uh, following the rules and uh, the main thing is discipline okay everyone can uh, uh what we say learn but uh, few are able to have it persistence right maintain the persistence so that reason was the one i think so the second blog talked about uh, sr uh, that local test dot me um we need to host uh, like in a real domain like no. we need to purchase the domain no 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 it's and it should point no no it's uh, actually a domain which uh, redirects you if i go here as you can see i will go to local test dot me it will redirect to the uh, uh, what we say our local host it does uh, required uh, redirect to local host if i go to google now google so there are these kind of dns services which resolve to the local ips and other ip so if i just type in child tree so you will be able to see that this entire domain name local is a while call entity that points to uh, our local host 127.0.0.10 this okay so this is already if i go to readme.localtest.net yeah so this is used for testing uh, anything uh, uh, your local uh, server means for testing the server so as you can see here my site.local.test.me will also redirect to this everything you type in front doesn't matter just the local uh, local test.me should be in the front okay so if there is some kind of uh, whitelist bypass uh, if there is some kind of whitelist uh, filtering going on in the background like uh, example.com okay example.com only fetches something from example.com so you can try all example.com at the rate local s dot me and all those uh, white list uh, bypasses you can try like you can type here dot making it example.com as a uh, uh, what do you say the white list filter just check for uh, example.com so you can making it a subdomain local terms uh, this is also data if i go here yes 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 understood so this is my local host right so this as we started the server in kali so this is my uh, local directory is all now um, ah my kali is stuck <laughs> okay so if i open here na uh, tab why it's happening today i don't know <laughs> so uh, you got the point right nothing matters in the front just the local dash uh, local dash dot me leader so the this is a blog written by santosh uh, he is great doing on cnet he is in the third place i guess and right now he is not hunting but he was very active on cnet and that time he became and he wrote this blog i guess in 2019 there are three part of this blog i definitely recommend you all who are watching to uh, read go through this okay so these are all the internal ips uh, which you can scan okay so uh, once you get an ssrf uh, just don't go for fetching internal files and also try to scan the internal uh, ips you can use burp intruder for this purpose and uh, try to find all the uh, ips which on which the service might be hosting or ports on which the uh, internal services might be ho uh, hosted so if you are able to interact with the internal application then that might be increase the impact of your ssr so these are all internal ips which you can scan okay so this is all the indication if you get a 500 uh, error 
uh, then that's that is some kind of firewall or the port is closed if you get 200 response like uh, scanning for the 222 port then it would be open so there is i think so bypasses was mentioned in this or uh, yeah so these are all the bypasses converting ip to hexadecimal like this one then uh, different uh, things you can do into decimal octal or wildcard dns like we use local test me okay there is other like zip.io nib.io ip6.nim welcome uh, sorry uh, ss lib.io you can use this so this works similar to local test me so but here you can mention your ip here then zip.io so it will resolve to this domain okay so whatever you add whatever the ip you mentioned here it will resolve to that like here ssrf cloud if we do this uh, this will resolve to this uh, aws metadata if we try this in parker i think so <laughs> so vulnerable or not i don't know i'm not sure but if it is then jis you know will say a lot of bad words to me <laughs> Because I haven't submitted this bug, I guess. KP, this method is DNS rebinding. Yeah, this is DNS rebinding. Okay. Uh, I think so. My in interception module. No, nah, it's not. So you got the point, right? So you can use this, and you can also use this Unicode method. Uh, there is a good site for that unicode tester i guess this was the one unicode detector now nah. uh, online unicode converter i guess Oh, not this not this one but you can i have a have tried it i don't remember where was it one converter nah but there is a site i will share it afterwards it i think so you are uh, like you are looking for like the some github github like it's all in one yeah homography i guess homography, homography uh, converter i guess you know i think cyberchef cyberchef have all the converters i think mm -hmm. i'm not sure let's try this one a generated homography huh only this uh, you can also try this uh, homography attack in uh, i'm not able to get that site yeah there was a good site which will list down all the unique case unique case converter or what was that i'm not able to uh, unique case Uh, i will share it afterwards okay so basically it will uh, help you to get all these characters different type of things you can try to bypass the filters okay so you can try this as well these are all the bypass methods which you can try the one which worked here was uh, dns one dns rebinding one right local uh, test which was that uh, local test dot me so what i can do i can uh, I'll first try to fetch file maybe index dot html so this will confirm that I can fetch something uh, nothing I thought it didn't work okay there might be no index then uh, index dot php maybe because web application you build on php so, yeah so if the file is not available that also generate an error so if I go to here this is the index page right as you can see here this is this is HTML storage. It's in storage. That means we are able to patch the internal uh, internal files. Okay, using this trick. So 
let's tie ssrf dot txt here if we get image because uh, this is one of the bug on ssrf test for barker so it is stored so this is also one of the bug on barker instead of ssrf dot txt you can try different thing you can try file brute forcing here and fetch some internal uh, file which you are not able to access some files like 403 files or something like that okay for example i think so if i go to robots.txt i might be able to find any 403 so maybe just going to the storage i guess storage will not allow me right yeah it's forbidden you can also try this here to exploit it so if we try here storage like this get image does this work yeah we required an image right there should be a file we are not able to fetch the directory we are only able to fetch the file so just do our uh, file brute forcing here you can also test this upload any image but i think so stream will be large so but you got the point right right so what you can try to bypass what are the things you can do yeah so just uh, go through this there are three things this blog is really awesome okay you can uh, go through this i have shared in the learn with group uh, i also share it here i will uh, add in the note so get internal uh, ip so uh, right now in this case uh, we haven't tested i think so http we can try for cloud here if you uh, to get an ip we were not able to get an uh, obb means uh, we are not able to get an internal ip but we were able to uh, fetch the internal files so you can submit this bug as well but you should also try for if you can uh, fetch cloud metadata so there was one gist by j hadix j hadix cloud cloud gist i guess yeah this one so this is also really great i saw this really back now i'm going so there are lots of uh, uh, links available for fetching the cloud metadata so if you identified some services uh, like if you get an internal ip in your bob collaborator for example what is the ip for aws aws internal internal ip so just to get you an idea i'm just taking right now from the internet uh, do anyone know any uh, ip internal ip what is my ip okay uh if you get any uh, 169.24254.169.2 yeah no no this one is for testing but let's try so if we go this will not uh, you will not get this ip in the response in the uh, when you are testing for blindness uh, ssrf in the blind ssrf you don't get uh, uh, this will not be considered which we tested this local test what me this will not be considered as a blind ssrf because we were not able to get any interaction here but uh, if you get and then try to fetch the cloud metadata so if you get an ip then go to what is my ip okay and then put your IP here like this and uh, check. Yeah, I revealed my IP. <laughs> Don't hack me. <laughs> so, uh, search. I think so. It will not be visible because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. You will get any IP in the IP. so just try that. Okay. Uh, there is some distortion. GD. Bro, can you mute your mic, please? Okay, thank you. Uh, 
IP 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 just go through uh, what is my IP okay and uh, any of this site IP lookup and see which uh, oh, sorry which uh, company owns the IP if you get AWS okay like here example I got this if I type here let's say uh, hacker1.com okay just an example you will not be getting this <laughs> So if I just type hacker1.com, eh, did it went. Okay, we can just paste IP here. So, oh, I think so. You got the point. Just look. Uh, let me just pick it from show there. That will be better. Like we want to get hacker on IP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait a second. Let me just get an IP. Like, who is, who is mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me type uh, AWS. Yeah. Okay. So this kind of IP. If you get some response from this kind of IP, if you type here search like this, so you'd be getting something like this, right? I AWS ISP EC something. So that means the backend is using AWS. If you get GCP. Just to get the internal IP, okay, <laughs> to get an idea. So let's try this. So if you get a response in your Bob collaborator or your uh, your server from these IPs, then you should uh, test. Like here, it's Cloudflare. Sorry, <laughs> I was searching for Cloud. Yeah, this. IP. If you get response from Google Cloud or something like this. So then you should go to this and test the particular URL for this. For example, Google Cloud, uh, you can test for this uh, metadata or Google.internal to get the metadata. So I'm also pasting this link here in our notes. Huh, I haven't mentioned. Use full links. Okay. So this is the link first. So this is for the cloud meta data payloads. Okay. Because on payloads all thing all are not mentioned. I was I found this on JHedix uh, when I was browsing through JHedix East, I was able to find this. So this is one of the link and uh, other link blogs that you should definitely uh, read is this one which I shared here. Uh, all these blocks let me also copy it here and share with you so just go through these real really interesting blocks uh, it has talked about everything so this is a methodology get internal IP if it is on cloud then try to uh, fetch the cloud metadata okay and after that you can get the RCs, RC as well so other thing which you can do which uh, Try to bypass blacklist. Uh, you can go to Hectrix. Open redirection. Okay. Open redirection. Uh, even SSRF is great. So if you go to this site, open redirection, you will find lots of open redirection payloads here. So instead of Bob Collaborator, if you don't have Bob Pro, you can use Ping B, Kennedy Token, Internet.sh, even Webhook.sh, and even SSRF Serif. So, okay, so these are all the protocols which you can also use to fetch the file. You can use uh, this protocol file. Uh, you can also use uh, DIC protocol, which is uh, similar to, you. Can, uh, it has mentioned all the payloads as well. So if I want to fetch some file, if the HTTP didn't work, okay, you have tried all the whitelist bypass, you have tried all the blacklist bypass, nothing worked, then try uh, changing the protocols. Okay, so if I try like this, it is password, I'm not getting anything. Uh, so even recently, I today saw one uh, bypass was try putting URL in front of this. Okay, if it's based on JavaScript, site is, but this is uh, built on PHP. 
So if JS is working in the backend, uh, you can use this kind of payload as well, URL. This is a new bypass I found. It's not working here, but it might work on other. Right. So, where was I? Yeah, so you can also try these uh, all the uh, payloads. Even Grofer, Grofer is a very old protocol, um, which still works, I guess, for communicating with TCP servers, I guess. I don't remember Grofer, what was the work of it. But uh, you can also try the Grofer payload. Then, uh, uh, there are lots of things in this you can try. What I was wanted to show you that, you can try open redirection uh, bypasses as well. So instead of that, uh, why it's stuck? So just uh, let me type it here for the bypasses. Bypasses. Try every. Uh, try every whitelist and blacklist open redirection payload okay and in the payload use 127.0.0 or uh, any internal cloud ip okay instead of that other example.com or evil.com okay so you will find lots of evil.com as in uh, payload in open redirection so just uh, watch that out Next, try uh, different different uh, uh, DNS DNS uh, rebinding rebinding trick or wildcard trick wildcard trick. Okay, like uh, nib dot uh, dot io. Then there is zip dot io. Then there is one lu.ms i guess so this this one is very interesting let me show you uh, one m one u dot ms i guess one u dot ms or lu dot ms i don't remember yeah this is the one so what it does like uh, let me take, take this IP. So this is very interesting uh, site, uh, interesting uh, DNS rebinding trick, which is first, let me just directly show you the demo. Let me close the server here. Now, as you know, to get uh, resolve, you can use host command. So if I type here this IP, okay, it was having the host. So first time it will resolve to, uh, first time it will resolve to, uh, it, will, it will resolve to 1.2.3.4, okay, and then it will resolve to this, 169. Uh, I think so, I need to remove this, all. Okay, so let me just show you. So the it will first resolve to one two dot three dot four. Then it will again if you use it. So you will have to send uh, this payload two times to exploit it. Okay, but this time I don't I don't know why it's not working. It's directly getting result to this. So let's try here. This one. This payload. Make this. So if we try here, we put HTTPS like this, get image, what will happen? I should be getting error, I guess, here. I tested this or not, I don't know. Okay, so you, the first thing now, uh, if you tried all the, yeah, sorry, anyone want to? 
I'm not able to understand this. Can you please explain? So basically, this one portion. Uh, this one u dot m s. This one. Ha ha. You. So basically, uh, WAF will not allow you if the IP will directly resolve to this, right? One six nine dot two four or something, because uh, nib dot io, nib dot io. Okay, if I go to nib dot io. For example, where is cloud metadata one? Uh, let's use this. I go to host here. Host. Okay, so it will get resolved to as you can see here. It will get resolved to ten dot eight dot zero. The IP which I have mentioned here. Now, if I type here like this, one six nine dot two four five dot one six nine dot two five four. Okay, if I get it, will resolve to that IP. That means the when you uh, when you use this payload here. Now, wait a second. If I Yeah. Now instead of this IP, we will use one two seven dot zero dot zero the internal IP. Okay, zero dot one. If I fetch image, mm -hmm. we are getting error. So basically, it works similar to local dash dot me. Okay. Now if I type here in the browser, post local dash dot me. Big local test dot. I don't know why it's not working. Yes, servers is start. Okay, so as you can see here, this redirects to this, right local test. Uh, okay. Similarly, what happens in nib dot io or this big? Let me type big here. So it will get resolved to that here, as you can see here. First, it will resolve to uh, this. Then additional section means it will additionally resolve to this IP which we have mentioned in the payload, like here. Okay. But the uh, in this case one u dot m it works little bit differently. First, it will when it will uh, when the server will make request to this. It will get resolved to this. Okay, so as you may have seen that, uh, uh, what we say in the Burp collaborator, you get a DNS request, right? You, if you have performed any SSRF attack, you will see a DNS request where you will see that this IP tried to connect through a DNS and try to resolve something like that. So first time it will uh, go to this address. What do dot three dot four it will resolve to this and then after this it will resolve to this that means when the server will try to fetch the file then the ip will be this it will be changed okay got the point like we have to make the request two times i guess yeah uh, yeah you can say that okay because many waf will uh, first many waf will uh, take uh, what we say if they get the URL for the first time, they will check if it is malicious, malicious, uh, malicious or not, right? So uh, they will find it that okay, this is a this is non malicious means this is not the payload. Like this is our payload, right? So it will remove that from the uh, from its. It will cache it that this is not uh, well. Uh, this is not an attack vector or attack payload. So we have just bypassed that. For example, you will note down that this IP is not harmful, but that IP next time when you will use the WAF will note out that this IP is not harmful, but the next time uh, the request goes, it will not check, right? So that time it get result to the harmful IP. Okay, got the point. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. So like you, you can also do use. like three times. Like you want to do three times for the paste. It. Sorry. Paste. Like you want to paste three times. Yeah. The same. No, no. You can just send the request two times. 
So we can also purchase uh, our, a simple cheap domain and we can add a record uh, something like example.com to 27001 yes, yes, so that can can be that. easily bypassed by WAF. Yes, yes. But there are many services you that you can use so you don't need to buy up or purchase anything. Normally WAFs uh, will bypass these uh, Periods in the period of the things, yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, administrator will add them to the blacklist filter. Yeah, all of these collaborator.net. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I think so. Uh, many of them are not in the payload all things, I guess. I'm sorry. Mm, yeah, you can you can use this trick. Yeah, you can make your own. Uh, or you can make your own what we say oh there are some for the azure as well nice so for the cloud metadata i didn't knew this so yeah you can try this trick and configure your own server buy or purchase any server and try this as well okay so there these were all the bypasses you can say so internal ip then uh first then try to exploit all this try to fetch the file Try fe fetching files, scan for ports, and all those exploit stuff, right? So, try exploiting. This is the next step. Okay, try exploiting. If it's cloud, then make sure you try to fetch metadata. If it's cloud, try to fetch metadata. So if it was a intern, if it was a third party server, na, when you got an internal IP, it, if it was a third party server like on a cloud or if it was using the target was using any G cloud or AWS, then you can fetch metadata. Okay, so there will be no uh, no what we say. Uh, uh, what I was wanted to mention. Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, uh, try to exploit if it's cloud. Try, uh, means try to exploit if it's cloud. Try to fetch metadata, and the uh, next step would be <laughs> reporting. <laughs> reporting or any. Yeah. So for if you don't have, uh, for blind testing, you can use blind testing. In blind testing, try for port scanning. Okay, uh, if you are not able to get anything, and at the end, if you are not able to get anything, okay, you are not able to get anything, then try for XSS or open redirection. Okay, because it is a vulnerability, and you are not able to find SSRF on it. Try for uh, uh, what we say XSS. So I shared that in I guess in our in learn learn together I guess I shared it uh, somewhere somewhere I shared it. Uh, it's also in that blog blog series also is there that there is, is it also. available? Yeah, in that blog series. I, I guess the, first first blog. First blog. Yeah, SSRF2, yeah, this is the one. So if I go here, like this, ah, it didn't work. You'll see. So this is XSS. Now, if I try this on Barker as well, now if I'm not able to get anything here, I will try to fetch as I'm able to fetch something. As you can see, I tried to fetch something. If I open the image, I'm able to get an XSS here, right? I just need to send this image to the you, uh, this link to the user. I might be able to uh, get the cookie. Right now, in this payload, there is only uh, if we go to view page source, the payload is set to just uh, document or domain. But you can host your own server and uh, use it cookie for the cookie. Okay, got the point. Now there is also one thing that I need to mention uh, where you can test for SSRF. 
here you can test in XML. If you find any XML file or any XM any endpoint which is trying to interact using XML or any other data format format you can test for SSRF there as well. SSRF. Uh, you will get the payload on payload all things I guess for this. Then you can also try SSRF on any conversion. Any conversion or any uh, that comes in directly comes in a file upload if the server is trying to if server is trying to convert some file you can try SSRF there like from markdown to PDF from PDF to markdown or from PDF to Excel or something like this from Excel to PDF you can try access as uh, SSRF there as, uh, as well and you can also try uh, uh, if uh, any PDF PDF generator PDF generator uh, if uh, you are able to get an invoice bill invoice okay if you are if there is a billing uh, functionality billing functionality in the application which generates PDF for you you can try access as payload in you uh, your address or something like that billing functionality okay so I think so that's it uh, any questions so far I'm pasting all this in our notes team notes any question anything you want to know like how they were decoding like 127.0.0 means like decoding steps like bypassing black black field black list and white list so for w and you, need to, you need to refer rfc rfc uh, rfc refer i guess rfc refer. yeah uh, you need to refer this there is some international standard which uh, says that you can use this you can use that I guess this one was that. RFC. I'm not sure <laughs> so uh, it depends on the uh, what we say there is some uh, documentation that states that uh, what we say that one dot uh, one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one will get uh connected I didn't, to I did not I, huh? no, no I saw but most of the report I did not saw like, like that type of encoding they're getting normal SRF SR or uh, something cloud metadata only normally getting mm -hmm. and this type of encoding they I did not see most of the reports like double encoding mm -hmm. Okay, so um, you are asking that uh, why we don't see double encoding or all those, right? On oh, yes, like like in most of the reports that we encoded uh, and learned together. Uh -huh. So basically, the reason might be that uh, uh, there was no any uh, input validation or something like that and the user was or attacker was able to get uh, SSRF directly without any bypass but there are many uh, bypass sometimes you need to uh, try bypass SSRF bypass hacker one if I type here like this so bypass of SSRF vulnerability as you can see here I think this was the report or which was that As you can see here, it was possible that he was able to bypass localhost validation using local test.me and all those, right? This, even this uh, address result to, uh, this is Apple's, uh, Apple's address, I guess, that can result to this localhost or this DoD network. So you need to try this as well. So not always, but uh, sometimes you need to try the bypasses that total depends on the WAF which is running in the background any other question
मेरा भी क्वेश्चन था हिंदी में बोल सकता हूँ भैया कोई प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं है है ना तो जब वो पढ़ रहे थे तो एक वो वीडियो कन्वर्जन वाले में एक एफ एफ एम जी यूज करता था कर, मतलब रिपोर्ट्स पढ़ी थी और सब जगह तो वो ऐसे तो समझ में आ गया कि गेटअप रेपो से उठा के मतलब वो एक्सप्लोइ बना के आप अपलोड कर दो पर मैंने ना जैसे एक अगर रिपोर्ट देखी थी तो उसमें वो मतलब उसने प्रैक्टिकलिटी में एल एस जी बेट मतलब बेट्स यूज करके उसको एच एल एस जो डायरेक्टिव बेट्स होती है तो वैसे करके एक्सप्लोइड करके बता रहा था तो वो बेट्स वाला कुछ समझ में आया नहीं से मैं आपको वन जीरो मतलब कोई भी हैकर वन रिपोर्ट खोल लो फिर मैं रिपोर्ट नंबर बता देता हूँ हाँ यही वाला यही वाला तो अब इसने ये जो कोड में जो ये बता रखा है तो मतलब ये क्या मतलब ये ए, जो ए, मतलब एम पी फोर में कन्वर्जन हो रहा है ना फाइल का या वाइस वर्षा तो वो उसके अंदर ये बिट्स इंजेक्ट कर रहा है और फिर ऐसे सारे ले रहा है तो वो वो चीज समझ में नहीं आई कि मतलब बिट्स का क्या मतलब है अच्छा देखो अब कोई भी तुम फाइल कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क के कंप्यूटर बिट्स और बाइट बिट्स पे काम करता है ठीक है बाइट्स सॉरी बाइट्स पे काम बिट्स और बाइट्स पे समझ आओ तो एवरीथिंग इज वन एंड जीरो राइट सो जब भी कोई फाइल डिटेक्ट जो भी फाइल हम यूज करते हैं ना कंप्यूटर के अंदर तो वो बिट्स एंड बाइट के फॉर्मेट में होती है ओके वन एंड जीरो के वन एंड जीरो में होती है कोई भी जब कंप्यूटर उसको रीड करेगा तो वो उस वो बाइट को रीड करेगा ठीक है तो पार्स यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है कि ए डब्ल्यू वी की जो फाइल है ये वाली ठीक है जब जो कंप्यूटर इसको पार्स करेगा कोई पार्सर अब ए ए वी आई फाइल नॉर्मली ऐसे पार्स नहीं होती तुम्हें कोई थर्ड पार्टी लाइब्रेरी या फिर कुछ यूज़ करना पड़ता है ठीक है तो जब वो लाइब्रेरी फाइल और जब वो प्रोग्राम पार्स करेगा ना इसको तब वो ना आ, ये जो है ये एग्जीक्यूट करेगा मतलब कि अभी सिंपल भाषा में तुम्हें समझाऊँ यहाँ पे लिखा है कॉन्केट ओके okay, ये क्यू आर एस था जो फाइल के अंदर एम बी डेट था जब हाँ. यहाँ पे वो पार्सर आया तो पार्सर को लगा था कि ये कुछ लिंक है जहाँ से कुछ फैच करना है तो वो यहाँ पे जाएगा ठीक है कुछ फैच करेगा अब ये फाइल नहीं थी तो अब कॉन्केट यहाँ पे कॉन्केट यूज़ किया है और यहाँ पे फाइल कमांड इंजेक्शन यूज़ किया गया है यहाँ पे तो जब ये यहाँ पे आएगा तो ये इसको पार्स करेगा हाँ क्योंकि ये वाला पोर्शन तो वो तो समझ में आ गया कि आगे मतलब फाइल और जो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एफटीपी और ऐसे यूज करके हम तो, तो मेरे को ये, इस... हाँ. ये हो रहा है एक्चुअली पार्सर की वजह से अच्छा जो वीडियो कन्वर्जन वाला पार्सर हाँ, है हाँ, हाँ. हाँ क्योंकि मतलब वो कोड से तो वो सब मतलब कोड में तो मोटा मोटा ये समझ में आया कि जो रेपो से वो बना दो बस उसने और उसको अपलोड करके देख लो अगर मिल रहा है तो पर ये रिपोर्ट में उसने पूरा डीप में बताया तो फिर समझ का थोड़ा वैसा लग रहा था तो ये ही डाउट था मतलब क्या अच्छा ये एक्चुअली ना एफ एफ एम जी ये वाला मुझे ना ऐसे में टाइम पास में कोई साइड पे कर रहा था तो सभी मुझे मिला था ये कोई तो साइड पे मिला मतलब आप वो वो मतलब ऐसे वीडियो कन्वर्जन फंक्शनैलिटी बहुत कम मिलती है ना तो हाँ। मता नहीं ठीक है तो भी ऐसा है नॉर्मल मतलब डीप में तो इतना जाने मतलब वो एक्सप्लॉयट करना है तो हाँ। फिर उतना डीप में जान कि बस वो पेलोड बना हाँ। के डाल के देख लो बस हम्म और एक और था एक्सेस <coughs> के लिए था या फिर किसमें था पता नहीं पता नहीं उसके अंदर कैसा था कि इमेज अपलोड थी और इमेज अपलोड सॉरी इंग्लिश में बोल देता हूँ सो देर वॉज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ इमेज अपलोड एंड इवन दैट वॉज ऑन फाउंड ऑन हैकर वन हैकर वन वॉज ऑल्सो वल्डरेबल टू इट सो द हैकर वन वॉज ट्राइंग टू पार्स द इमेज बिकॉज मैनी एप्लीकेशन डज ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट द इमेज और मेक इट स्मॉलर इन साइज और समथिंग लाइक दैट राइट वैन यू अपलोड इट सो इट विल पार्स द फाइल वैन इट विल पार्स द फाइल इट विल the attacker was able to inject the excess payload in the chunks of the files so in image there is particular chunks uh, or you can say uh, group of byte or something like that. i don't remember it uh, i read it way back uh, excess in image chunks i guess there was a good research on this uh, this yeah i had a chunks png so this was the report i guess Shopify. Oh, it was also found on Shopify. Great. No, it's Exif. Not the Exif one. I data one, I guess. 
the graphic image or something this is also the one but report I was wanted to show not able to find so uh, there was a payload in these I'm not able to but I will try to find and share with you okay later there was a good report on this I guess like that is a kind of software that uses like pixel yeah. name say software is there and that there is an error in that software and hacker one is kind of using that software for their image process. Yeah, they were using that library, PHP library, something like that. Uh, I'm also not getting that. Yeah, so you need to do a little research. There is lots of things, uh, lots of bypasses available. Even, uh, even I found a file upload, uh, file upload bypass, wherein we were able to inject uh, some file or this. Mm. Even there was one similar kind of thing, very unique kind of file upload, which was not mentioned, uh, which was not uh, available on payload all things or any block. It was mentioned in some people research, I guess. I don't remember what was that. But there are lots of uh, deep things you can do. That was the reason I uh, started this Learn Together series. So that we all can learn together and share everything. So yeah, that's it, I guess. About SSRF. Uh, that's it. I have shared the uh, notes with us, and now I sh think so. Might be ending the stream. It was great. Uh, what a what was your experience? Did you learn something? <laughs> Anything new? KP, KP, any comment on uh, automation? Oh yeah, okay. We were about to talk automation, but uh, stream is <laughs> one and a half hour long. It's <laughs> okay. Okay, let me quickly give you. Okay, so automation. There is two thing you need to do. Uh, basic basic methodology, basic step is this. You need to just automate this thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. For automating, you can try this thing. I was spidering the web application and finding the endpoint. You can automate up till this. So what you can do. Uh, let me put it automation. Uh, crawl using any spider application. Okay, like if you have Burp Pro, then well and fine. You can use Burp Crawler. If you don't, then you can use Go Spider, or you can even use OWASP. 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 Okay, you can use this. Call the website. And also manually while keeping the proxy in the background manually. Man or AR. Manually uh, browse the website. Okay, browse the website. The next thing you should be doing is uh, uh, you can also fetch from Wayback Machine. Yeah, uh, this was one. You can fetch URLs from various third party, third uh, party websites like Wayback URL. Uh, way back URLs, then we have a uh, URL scan.io, I guess. Then we have uh, Alien Vault, Alien Vault, we have we have Common Crawl, Common Crawl. So these are all the third party which crawls the internet. You can fetch URLs from that. Okay, the next thing would be to uh, next thing would be to uh, find two things. You can do two things at this stage. Now you have lots of URLs. So grip out, grip out patterns. any, any, uh, not GF pattern. You can use GF pattern as well, but at this stage, you can do grip out HTTPS. If any URL contain HTTPS equal to HTTPS, grip out equal to HTTP, something like this. Okay. Or HTTPS, HTTP will work fine, I guess. Okay. Or, uh, grip out grip out uh, equal to equal to something like this so this will be the path and this will be the this okay now okay. or you can directly directly you can search for it in burp for example if i go to burp here uh, if i go here okay it's we can't do in the community version but uh, yeah flow 
so if i go here if i type here equal to http okay so only in scope and i will be able to get this url parameters right here this was the one we tried right so you will be getting these parameters you just need to test for ssrf there this is also manual method you can say but kind of automation as well so no. automation you can say then uh, what else you can use or you can use gf pattern but gf pattern will miss lots of because there is pre uh, you know pre defined uh, parameters right in gf pattern that only these parameter uh, which are mostly vulnerable not always vulnerable but mostly vulnerable so you might be missing some parameter which is different okay which is not mentioned in gf pattern so that will you might be missing so gf pattern okay so after that you can replace replace with your uh, payload ssrf payload either you can use uh, your bob collab link or interact.sh link interact.sh link okay no. or you can use directly to 7 but that will not uh, that, um, uh, that will not uh, help you verify means you will not be able to check it so i think so uh, you will be only re uh, able to replace it because <laughs> you can't uh, automate everything right but if you uh, use other tool or uh, no means you won't be able to get any uh, local host okay but you got the point right you can yeah. try this collab link and replace with your payload either the next thing would be trying <laughs> trying to verify manually <laughs> verify. waiting for the callback yeah so try to verify manually and what you can exploit okay, okay. so you can this is the automation that i would do uh, so there is tool i made a tool gav ssrf <laughs> in the past and many people were uh, able to find ssrf using it but it is outdated okay it is outdated don't use it there is a better version of this which is ssrf you are you are free to make pull request if you want <laughs> If you want to make i am not maintaining it anymore maintaining it anymore but i'm thinking to update it because there are many good and great tools so that tool is ssrf ssrf fire so this one his author was different one not this guy <coughs> yeah i think so this one only this is also ssrf is all uh, fire is also one of the two does the same work it fetches from passive sources and uh, sometimes crawls and it will also uh, do the same thing do gf pattern and uh, we'll try to find also there is another tool ethical hacking ssrf i guess uh, github yeah so this guy also made a tool Oh, SSRF. What was that? Uh, SSRF tool, yeah. So you can also use this tool as well. Okay, so these are two tools you can try it out for automation. Let me share it in the notes. Some tools. Then there is this. This will help you to find SRF. Now, what about exploitation? Exploitation. Okay. What about automation? Uh, exploitation of autom uh, SSRF. Automation of exploiting SSRF. So, like SQL map, we have SSRF map. So, you can use this as well. So, this is automation once you found uh, what you say ssrf just try using this it will help you to uh, exploit ssrf further okay so this okay. is the one of the tool you can try uh, what else anything else you can uh, combine all these and make a bash script <laughs> nowadays i'm getting a lot of tool idea <laughs> last time about uh, 
I gave about uh, uh, one list. You can also try this. Uh, let me post here. I'm posting it here and try it out. Enter. Okay. So this is all the things. And uh, other than this, any questions? You can type it out here. What? Was it boring? No. Because some people left, so I thought I was kind of boring. <laughs> it's like kind of session is like extended now. So yeah, that's true. So I was trying to make it minimal. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it was insightful and you enjoyed it. And uh, I will try to do lots of session if I get time in future. And the next topic for learn together, I'm thinking about small small yeah. attacks. 